Oh, work. Work. Uh, work is work. It's not that it was terribly hard or anything. It's nothing like that, but... Uh, work on an off day. Always frustrating. Welcome one and all. Navigator EX here. And Metal Gear Solid 4. Finger guns of the Patriots. We got some wolf battle shenanigans. Ugh. Ugh. Hopefully it won't be the same live die repeat that was uh, Sunday with um, Resident Evil 3. But I guess we'll see. Welcome Blind Archer to the wolf battle shenanigans. Wolf battle! Oh boy. But before I get started, I'm going to take a little sip of my brown water of choice today. Random tea bags. Mostly green this time. Mmm. And somewhere, 10 year old me is screaming because there's not an ounce of sugar in that. Ugh. Because it's the South. And all tea has to have sugar or else it's like a capital offense or something. I'm like, uh, what, whatever. Uh, I prefer my tea with sugar, but it's not necessary. Uh, uh. Especially if it's like Earl Grey. I do like Earl Grey. I've only this this past year or two started uh, drinking that. And it's actually, pretty, I really like it. The kind of citrusness. Was that bergamot, I think? I'm probably mispronouncing it. Cause, cause I'm a, I'm a dirty heathen. If it's any fancier than just black tea, I don't do, I don't do. It. <laughs> oh God, I'm already rambling. It is 4:04, and I am already bordering on incoherent. It's gonna be one of those days. Let me take a much heartier sip of the brown water and actually try and wake up. What? Hmm. Ah. Uh. You can really taste the brown. Oh boy, Crying Wolf. What did we do last week? It was last week where we fought the gecko with the shotgun and then that failed miserably. And then the other gecko with claymores and then that wasn't exactly... Yeah, I think that was... I think that was last week. Um, the Metal Gear Mark III put in some work finally. Oh man. And welcome No Third Impact, please. Um, oh, ah, uh, limber up my fingers for some, oh boy, I sound like twisting a bunch of celery stalks, what the hell's with my hands today, whoa, they've been busy, it's cool, anywho, here's hoping y'all are doing well today, I'm doing good, ah, whoa, jeebums, I hope that's not ear-shreddingly loud on the viewer end, but yeah, somehow I was not expecting that. Okie dokie, solid eye. Uh, envy. Let's see, what do we got? Oh. Hello, there's, there's people. And they're moving. Yeah, so, yeah, they've been busy, and they've been busy handling meat, too. So, make of that what you will. But don't worry, I'll shatter your, your delusions shortly. So... <laughs> Hello! Oh, uh, boy. I can't fire yet. So, yeah. Uh, meat cooler at work failed last night, and I had to help the boss clear the meat off of the shelves and uh, put them into a cooler and back. And so then... Today was the day where I had to get them out of said cooler, and that was that was an ordeal. Oh, hello. And who's behind me? Anyone of note? Okay. Oh, oh boy, hello. Wow. So, I'm a little bit out of it today, because I haven't had my my usual amount of coffee or anything. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. 
That was probably not the best place to drop, but to kneel? I wonder if she would have still shot me if I went prone. Oh, hello. We have bullets. Okay. Uh, I think uh, what I was led to understand was someone had apparently thrown a half-used monster energy drink on top of the meat case and it fried the lighting and caused a short in the system. So someone drank an energy drink and it really screwed with the energy in that case. So <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. Okay. Where you at, Wolfie? Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Okay, I gotta find out where Wolf is. Ah. Aim Ranger. Ah, yes, Mech Warrior 4 co op. Ah, uh, oh, shit. How many shots is this clown gonna take? Okay. I know what I'm doing wrong here. I'm not I don't have the solid eye on yet. Mech Warrior 4 Mercs Co-op. I haven't touched Mech Warrior in far too long. Four, five, anything. I need to fix that. What was that? What was that noise? Let's get up here and hopefully out of the way. Ah, uh, I need to fix that mech warrior thing. That was one of the things I wanted to put a little little bit more time into today and just no dice ah uh, boy I try to use my off days for a little bit of fun oh whoa hello what in the hell oh that's not good holy crap falling from that height after getting exploded out of it just doesn't kill you Neat. Oh, where'd she go? Saw I saw a thing that could be used to indicate Wolf's position. Okay, come on, where's she at? Game Ranger. Oh boy. It's like, there's got to be something to Game Ranger. I mean, I've even heard of it, and I never use those kind of services. In that I never play multiplayer, I need to change that. What the hell? Ah, organs! I need those! For, for organ purposes. Where'd you go? Ah. Game Ranger... Oh, oh, what the hell? Is that a Trank? What are they doing? Holy crap. Snakes. Bad day. Oh. Hey, I didn't die. Okay. Oh, boy. He has the most back aches, though. Okay. What the? Oh. I didn't catch that was a side flip. I thought that was a... I don't know. I thought she got ejected by someone's fire. Hmm. Dark Souls. Uh, oh, no. That was almost bad. That was almost... Me directly succumbing to gravity. Ah, weakens. Hmm. But, much like Dark Souls, now you... Oh, well, hello. What was that? What was that beautiful piece of hardware? Much like Dark Souls, you can actually do it now. And, uh... I didn't hear her voice, which direction it was coming from. Damn it. Let's see, weapons, switch out the stun knife. I need... 
a rifle. What is the XM25? Grenade launcher. It's a bit overkill for the moment, and it won't be the thing I use. Ah. Thought it was a good idea to get in it. Oh, boy. Sleep plus school. I know that's... That's kind of a necessary evil for some people, but I don't wish that on anyone. Woo, that's rough. Uh, let's see, get that. I don't have any more rounds for... Okay, that's a direction of, of from for enemy fire. Uh, SVD. Uh, ration, real quick. Where are you at? Oh, boy, my face. Okay, time for the solid eye. Oh, don't, don't, no, snake, stand up now. Where'd you go? Damn it. Missed a prime opportunity. Uh -uh. Come on. Ah, oh, boy. Money, entertainment, and sleep. Uh, that sounds about right. Um, back away, slowly. Oh boy, this is not the best sniper vantage point. I mean, somewhere that doesn't have rails. Pills, I had one pill, as I recall, for this battle. How many? Where'd you, where'd you go? Oh, there we go. Alright, a little repositioning. Money, entertainment, and sleep. Ugh. Of course, for me, entertainment is also food, because, let's face it, I can be hella amused with the right food. Uh, and no, that does not mean Mentos and Diet Coke, but confidentially, yeah, that, that can help. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to use this rocket launcher. This is stupid. Okay, M60 time. Oh, hello. Gun. Wolf. Wolf, where you at? Make make wolf lady noises. Oh boy. Mentos and Diet Coke. I never I, I've never gotten much of an opportunity to try it. The one time I had it was a 20 ounce soda and I had to pour it into a cup, thus losing a lot of the uh, effect of the Mentos. Ah, come on! Where's she at? Hello. Can I get any higher? I don't think there's another ladder to get any higher. Whoa, hello. No. What was that? Do, do, do. Uh, I'm just prowling this one area and it just feels like I should be doing something else. Construct the food into a phallic shape. Ah. Hey, that could actually take your food into getting you some money if you can bake some erotic cakes. Oh, hello. Come on. Ah. Uh, could have sworn that said wolf. Eh, uh, boo. I need a new vantage point. Or do I need a new vantage point? Because that... That was audible wolf lady noise. Oh, man. What am I looking for? Uh, wolf lady. Ah, shit. That thing's battery's about to die. Dick shaped ice sculptures. Ah, yeah. 
Oh boy. <sighs> trying to think. Uh, I need to. I need to pick a different vantage point, and I need to. Oh boy. Well, there she is. Hey, buddy. Oh, this is not good. Snake, you can't die. Death, no, the Snake. ultimate high ground. <sighs> Goodness. Yeah, that thing I said, though, about Dark Souls. Yeah, apparently Dark Souls Remastered has had its online capabilities returned. So that's like, I think that's all of them, except for Prepare to Die Edition, which apparently they said, yeah, we're not doing that one because aging system, some some nonsense about that. Oh boy. And I, I was reading, I saw Scholar of the First Sin, I saw three and Dark Souls remastered. Uh, but they didn't mention in the Eurogamer article if Dark Souls 2, like the base game, had been brought back online. I mean, I'm assuming they would with Scholar being up. That seems... That'd be weird to have the DLC working, but not the base game. What? Um... It was that, that slew of um, Dark Souls takedowns a while back where, where they had the active exploits and um, had to take all the servers down. I don't know if it was PC only for that one, but yeah, I was led to understand it was like PC and console for at least a couple of them. I want to say Dark Souls 3, but yeah, they seem to have uh, got some of that sorted out. So, yay! I can has Armored Core 6 now? <laughs> Here's hoping that they, uh, they can get development back into making new stuff instead of fixing old stuff. Oh, whoa, snap. Night Vision. Wolfie, where you at? Oh, there's, that's someone. Stop it! I have the high ground! Still, just really would love to play through those games at some point. Not necessarily Dark Souls, Re Souls Remastered, though, because I do have Dark Souls on 360. I am content with that. And I played patiently enough where I didn't really die very often, but then again, I didn't get terribly far in. It's like I always was un of the uh, understanding that, that that game, that series is more like patience games, so it's not like the hardest game ever, and uh, only real gamers play Dark Souls like bullshit. So is it? Oh boy. Wolf Cam! Oh, if only I knew this map a little better. She's at the foot of one of these. Oh, hello. Bad doggy? Where you at, bad doggy? Hello, bad doggy. Oh, that's not good. What are you doing? Bad doggy, where'd you go? Okay, I don't even have my sniper rifle out yet. Infinite respawn. Yeah, I mean, that's... There's a logic to that statement. How can you even call a game that has infinite respawn a hard game? Now, that thought has actually occurred to me with Pokemon as well. Because, I mean, with, with infinite respawns, perseverance basically means you're going to win. However, I will add the counterpoint that you do have to have at least enough skill to get from, say, checkpoint to checkpoint in a game that goes that way, or to grind far enough to increase your party's levels in games that require that, in order to actually progress. That's that's where the challenge comes in, is um, lasting long enough to actually advance. 
I mean, I get that, but infinite respawns and people still are going to get too frustrated at at those games to ever be. It's like I I would love to know how many I wish there was some magical way to know how many people have just given up on Dark Souls forever because they couldn't get very far in it. Uh, I would... Oh. I mean, hell, there's a little bit of grind in Dark Souls, so... Okay. So you can boost your levels in the same way, sort of like Pokemon. Oh, man, I want a Dark Souls Pokemon game. Uh, yeah, games like Devil May Cry, Team Ninja's action games. I would, I would definitely rate rate them a little bit harder than uh, Dark Souls. I mean, especially I think uh, Ninja Gaiden. You don't like really. I don't know if you have any kind of way of leveling up in uh, the newer Ninja Gaidens. Any old ones? Ugh. Hell no. You level up by pressing the A button and the B button right and hoping the enemies don't spawn right as you're over a hole. Okay, yeah, this is this is not this is not the vantage point. Down. Snake, descend, thank you. Down, thank you. Ah, I gotta clear out this tower too. Oh man, those trophy percentages. Uh, one of the benefits of Achievement Hunters things, so, I mean... Oh, boy. He was behind me, wasn't he? Oh, get up. Ladder. Ladder, not... Wa what the hell? What am I doing? Snake, please. Learn to ladder. It's like... I've never been an achievement hunter, but if I were an achievement hunter, I would be trying to get some of those low percentage ones just so I didn't, you know, remain in the scrub zone like I do in, in some games. I can't think of many games that I just stay like that. Only half, two-thirds, 90% of the games I play. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that stress meter... Oh. Oh, what the hell? Did you just... Oh, boy. Okay. Give that solid eye a few minutes. Okay. Okay, this way. Ah, uh, wolf! Where are you at? Don't make me come down there. Actually have progress. What the hell? Why are you, why are you side flipping down there, lady? It's like, why are you going to embarrass yourself like that? There's a ladder. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm starting to think the camping approach is just not going to do... It seemed a bit more viable last stream, but it's just not It's just not happening here. I want to hear her say some kind of face noise, and then maybe I'll have to jump down there and meet her on her own turf, i.e. the ground. Ugh. You know, I have a point there, Blind Archer. If I could just if I could just do a side flip, I mean Yeah. Holy crap! I love Octo Camo. She didn't even see me. Like, Octo Camo plus best weather. Oh man. I'm gonna look up some videos of someone like doing a standing front flip. I mean, a standing back flip is... Ah, sounded like from the left, maybe a little behind. A standing back flip is one thing, but a standing front flip, holy shit. Okay, drop a level. 
Ah, boy. To my right. How far away? The footstep position. She must be close if the position can change that quickly. Assuming that we don't have just some weird ass game audio going on for psychological effect. Like, here, left. Now, right. She'd have to be, like, directly below me for that to be a thing. And what's below here? What? Okay. That ain't good. That shot came from this direction. And, oh, hello. Arr, move. SVD. I did not identify her at all. Uh, oh. Prone. Fire again so I can go prone. That wasn't quite what I had in mind. Okay. Staying around the perimeter on the ground? I can buy that. Oh boy. I want to die again. I need to get my rations and maybe hole up in a cardboard box. I don't know how well that'll work in a minute, but hey, if I can get these lobby goons off me for a minute. A little non-edible regeneration. Let's see. They're still in alert phase, which means they still know exactly where I am. Okay. Wolf has to come outside her suit to fire the rail gun. That's your cue to attack. It helps if I can see her, Otacon. And uh, that is a tall, tall order. But he he does have a point. I don't really expect this to do much region. His stress is like so, so high. Oh boy. I didn't know if his stress would actually go down. Okay. I'm trying to think. On the bright side, it's been a half hour and I've only died once. Oh boy. Hey, you hear that, Nemesis? I'm coming for you. But Jill doesn't have a cardboard box, so... Uh. Doing a longer stream sometime. I've thought of it... I, I, I generally don't do longer streams because I have a, a good chunk of stuff to do after streaming here at, at my home. But um, some nights I do. Most of those have been like faster than light and shit like that that just absorbs time forever. But yeah, I have been considering doing longer streams more often, trying to reschedule some of my usual workload. And, uh... You know, fix my shit, as it were. So, what is this challenge you have in mind? Because I'm all ears. Because I remember one of my longer streams, which I have yet to do the part two to as well, was going through armored core bosses in reverse order. Race me in Metal Gear Solid 1 or Resident Evil 1 or 3. I think I would almost have better luck in Resident Evil 1, but I'm open to 2 out of 3 of those. Resident Evil 3, I am so bad at. I've got to get some practice in on. I need to fire up my copy, play from the beginning, up to whatever point I've currently played. Learn a bit more about that game. Resident Evil 2 I was uh, a bit faster at. Where you at, Wolfie? 
that her? That looks suspiciously wolf-esque. Hello. Uh. Damn. Oh, that's not good. Someone's frisky with the grenades. Wouldn't be allowed to save. Oh. You'd have the iron skull on. Oh boy. Damn, Snake's Bandit. Okay, I was just wondering, I had to look at Snake's Bandana for a second, make sure it wasn't sticking to one direction. Like, okay, where, okay, she's back about where I started. Okay, that, that tower. Where's that tower's position? Okay, there. That's not far. She's not far at all. I see her. Okay, that's... That's... I didn't want to get that close. Hmm. Snake? Okay, where's she at? She is not far at all. Never answered your friend. I didn't? What the hell am I doing? One moment. Where you at, Discord? Okay, while I'm listening for her position. Uh. Ah, I see. I see, I added you, but I didn't catch the wave. Okay. I don't know how, it's right there. Ah, tabs. See, that's how you can tell it's me. I missed something incredibly obvious for weeks. <laughs> okay. That's how you, that, no, no, no blue check mark or no verified status. You don't even need anything for that. You just see that I missed something incredibly obvious for weeks. That's how you can tell it's really me. Oh boy. No, go away. Ignore me. Oh boy. Speaking of things. I don't know where I was going with that. So, while I'm trying to... I, I can't... She sounds like she's out this way. I'm not... Is that, that can't be her. No. I'm looking forward to Street Fighter VI. I want to see what they have to bring to the table with that game. Okay, that's not her. What they have to bring to the table with that game. Okay, Discord. It's it was something involving screen sharing. I think it was stable diffusion. Um, was I think the reason? But um, oh, she's to my right. Hello. Please don't start with a sniper just yet. Oh, there she is. Hello. Bye bye. Street Fighter Six. I'm really. Really looking forward to what they bring to the table. Five was kind of a messy, nasty shit show. And, uh, no thanks. I just. Okay. Come on. Ah, one shot. Oh! Hey! Yes, it is the enemy. Hello! Oh, my back! That's not how Snake needs chiropractic work done, but but thank you. Thank you, Wolfie. Up the butt. Oh, boy. Street Fighter 6. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what... It, oh, no, you don't. I actually get a hit in on her and, and this shit happens. Weather. Let's lay down for a second. 
she's to my left. Uh oh, ooh, no. Let's see. What does he do when you try that slowly on the back? Okay, so he only has one speed on his back. Uh, and he's clearly stuffing socks in his pants. What the hell? Oh, he can... He can fake death. Unreal tournament flashbacks now. Oh boy, what was I saying? So Street Fighter VI. I'm looking forward to it, but I just, something was just brought to my attention about it that it's like, please no. So they they have their simplified control schemes. This isn't a thing that's even new to Capcom. I mean, they, they've forever, at least in like the the Marvel versus kind of games, they had like a simplified control scheme, I believe, in at least Marvel versus Capcom, where you you mash a button and you you get a simplified move input like like hitting punch a couple of times real fast and then all of a sudden you get a fireball well they've taken that one step further and i would argue one step too far i'm looking at an article on GameSpot that has them with a uh, scheme they call dynamic control and depending on your your position uh it'll it'll do different stuff like you have the simplified input, but it's like apparently an, an AI or some such they said on there was a... Oh god, I sound like I'm 180. <laughs> what are them newfangled AI thing? Like, uh, decides what move you're going to push out. Uh, and they've, they've oriented it toward new players, and I'm like... <laughs> Why, Capcom? That's, that's a bit much. Have an AI decide what moves I'm going to push out? What? Hell no! Not even a little! Oh, hello. Wolf, I hear you. I don't see you. I don't like that. I, I remember the uh, manual or easy thing uh, on Marvel vs. Capcom. That was... Um, yeah, several fighting games have had that to an extent. I want to say... Um, I want to say Virtua Fighter had some things along that line. I didn't really play a lot of Virtua Fighter, but yeah, it's like y'all y'all put an AI into the equation. And, oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, shit. Uh, rations yesterday. Thank you. It's like no thanks, Capcom. I do not want my game playing itself for me. It's not Street Fighter Six Cookie Clicker edition. Uh, edition much more interested in the new Tekken game. You're referring to 7 or the upcoming 8? Because in both cases, yes. <laughs> uh, I forget if they said they're still using Unreal Engine for it. Oh, move! Man, Street Fighter 6 Cookie Clicker Edition. Actually, now I kind of want to see that be a thing that exists. But, I, I, I digress. The... the there's a point between simplifying the game and oversimplifying it. I'm fine with the whole manual and easy mode thing, like in classic Marvel, in classic Capcom games. I'm fine with the Smash Brothers like control set. And um, I mean, those both sound cool, but they're not playing the aim for you. You still have to. Oh, hello. Where's she at? I saw that. She has a beat on me, and I don't share that notion. The Tekken 8 trailer. I need to go back and look that one up. I don't remember it. I, I know I saw it, but I don't remember it at all. Ah, oh, come on. She was in the trees. Thinking about where you're, you're going. That's cheating. Being good. <laughs> I don't be good at you. Oh, shit. Okay, please get down the ladder. Please get down the ladder. Close enough. Thank you. I'll take that DSR-1, though. Yeah, 7. Ah, man. 7 was fun, and I need to sink more time into it. I actually fired it up a little while ago just to play Negan in training mode. Shits and giggles. Oh, hello. 
Oh, that's that's some weighty. Wa oh. Footsteps. I knew there was some other gimmick for for this battle. Something else to track her with. Damn it! Why did I not think of that before? Kazia and Jin. Right, because they were like, look at how realistic their biceps are and in, in some of the promotion stuff. It's like, neat. Okay. Interesting. Holy crap, you can, you can do that. That's cool. I didn't... Okay. I forgot what button punching was on, so that, that didn't work very well. Oh. Oh, auto-aim. Get away with that auto-aim nonsense. Uh. Yeah, that was that was the thing that I, I caught from the, the trailers, the fact that they did have it in-engine actual actual gameplay, and that's, that's important. It's nice having cutscenes, but when you have it fully in engine and you have two characters smacking each other around as the player would that's that's just better okay that's that's rough and that would have been that would have been game right there oh hello damn it all the veins we can oh boy vr the wave of the future okay i i saw her actual position not even with the solid eye. Okay. Uh, noodles. I'm out of noodles. Uh, I need that solid eye. This is an opportunity. I don't want to pass it up. No, 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 no. Ah! Cheap. Damn it. Lost it. Did I even... I didn't even use the ration. Ugh. I guess that's a good thing. It's because I hit circle instead of X. Ugh. So many games want to promote with just a cutscene. I'm like, show more gameplay in your games. Everybody loves gameplay. I don't know, except for those Street Fighter Cookie Clicker Edition people. Saw it, I wish yet. I didn't see where that shot came from. I. Oh, that's not good. She must be close. Oh, she was very close. Not quite as close as I thought. Hello. Whoa, hello. What was that? Okay. Uh, down. Hit. Arr. Snake, take your medicine. Oh, God. Tasman. Where is that? Okay, noodles. Get the noodles out of here. Where's his meds? Uh, signal interrupter. What? Interceptor. Oh, signal interceptor. Blech. List of games coming out in 2023. Yeah, that just seems to be gaming in general for me right now as well. Interested in less than five? Oh. There's a whole debate on that that I'm pretty sure I'm not smart enough to make uh, but let's let's go with it anyway because gaming as a pastime neat okay oh shoot please don't duck back into your suit yet ah oh, come on how did it, how did neither of those hit okay what what am I I'm I'm hitting the white part. I am positive. Am I am I too high with that? Oh, move. Well, one pill, no kill. Yeah, cuz gaming it, it's like gaming is a product. Neat. It it doesn't push the doesn't push the hobby forward as it were. Whoa. I must have gotten a headshot on her that first time. Oh, that was a quick shot. Whoa, what the hell? 
because she took a lot more damage from the first hit. Okay, move. Oh, okay, oh, that's okay, I didn't need to go up those stairs. Yeah, gaming as a product, it doesn't exactly further the hobby, as it were, but it keeps some studios' lights on, and eventually we'll get some good games out of it, but there's just so much stuff that the, the big, big people are putting out, and it's just, ugh. all the EA, Activision, Ubisoft crap. It's like, neat. We, we get games, and there are going to be happy people, but I, it just sucks, though. There's not as, as many just fun, innovative titles. You get too many things from the big, the big names, the usual suspects that are the same thing, but, oh boy. Ration. But slightly more refined. Okay. She went this way, if I'm not mistaken. Where you at, Wolfie? I'm oh, buying FIFA every year. Now that's... And that's another thing, speaking of games as a product. Games like FIFA, Call of Duty... It's like if they would update the game but not make a full release out of the update, just sell it as a DLC? I can't help but wonder what would their uh, gamer retention be? What would what would their their Oh boy. It's like would they really lose so much money if they just updated this stuff and re and re uh, attached it to the old product? It's like cuz I'm not entirely convinced. It's like not everyone can go drop on a $60 release. Really, every year, some people got that whole college thing going for them. And worse. Okay, where's she at? Wolfie. Oh, this is this is a dangerous game here. Just run out there like a like a like a dummy. Hey, stun grenades. These will serve me so well. I don't know. I've always been of the opinion that games like FIFA, that your sports titles with rosters, would be better served with updates to the roster for the most part. Maybe have like a $60 re-release for people who are just buying in for the first time. But, you know, for people who, who can't afford to do that every, every year or so, I don't know. I'm sure it's not a unique thought. I'm sure many smarter people than me have thought of it. I'm just like... <sighs> Get on an EA, it would be one less reason for me to want to puke. Those guys shut down the Project Cars series. Come on, EA, what is that? Be, be cool, it's Project Cars. That, that looks pretty dope. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. I thought that was a cutscene. What? Huh? The hell just... I mean, well, I know what the hell just happened. I just died. Oh, boy. Okay, so I want to switch tactics here. I'm circling the map. I want to look for her footprints. I want to see her... footprints on the ground and see if I can get a little closer. The Scrub Lord way, I suppose. Oh, boy. I just need to make sure that I have the right tools and enough enough help. The licensing, yes. Okay. See, now I wasn't even thinking about subscription-based games. I was thinking of DLC patches, and you get into subscriptions, and that's an entirely whole new can of worms. And the licensing on that would be probably hell for sports games. I could kind of see why they wouldn't be able to do that. 
I mean, it'd be hard enough convincing the rights holders to, to do it with DLC, but, you know, M60. It's like I want to put a sniper on the M60 for them. Putting away food. All right, no worries. No worries. Okay, is there a... Let's see, M4 custom. Uh... Attachments. L2, not R2. Okay. No. Muzzle mount. Okay, suppressor. Because I'm known for my stealth skills. Dance, puppet. Okay. Just swing wide. Steer clear of these jabronis. Oh, boy. I have left footprints around this whole map. Y'all not seeing this, ladies? Because if not, thank you very much. BMW seat. Heater! Ow! Oh! There is no reason anyone should ever have to subscribe to their hardware. And so many companies want that to be a thing. I just... Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Didn't quite pan out, but there we go. Let's, uh... Okay, they're in, they're coming, aren't they? Where they at? Uh, no, I'm not here. Ignore the box. Find tracks in this blizzard. Well, I have this, the advantage of a solid eye. My thing is, I'm just curious if they have the advantage of a solid eye. Or similar. But truth be told, nah, I barely can find these tracks in the blizzard because... It's me! <laughs> Oh, boy. One moment. Oh, boy, that BMW seat heater. Oh, no. Ignore me! Yes! Ha-ha! Okay. I didn't quite plan and pan, pan out how I expected, but I'll take it. Okay. Stop dumb thumbing for a second. Uh, yeah, another single fight stream. I was expecting it to go a little smoother after the way the fight went last week. Oh, boy. The enhanced soldiers are acting strangely. <gasps> Something's coming. Okay, there she is. Okay, didn't... Looking right at her and didn't... Oh, I'm using the wrong weapon. I meant to... That was probably not the right play, but it's the one I made. Okay, whoop. Uh, that was audible. Oh, I see them footy, footy prints. I will find you, Frying Wolf. Oh, hello. Okay, my face. Hello. Whoop. Okay, that, that did not help as much as I'd hoped. Where'd you go? Oh, no. There she is. There she was. Uh, that's the bad thing about the solid eye. Just a white blob on the screen means it's a little difficult sometimes to tell front from back. Uh-oh. Okay. Careful, careful. I'm not crouched down. I'm just sticking out like a big stupid sore thumb. Oh, is that her? I think that's a yes. Whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Hang on. Have I octo camoed? This is actually going better than I anticipated now. 
No, he isn't there, and our oh, screw you guys. Oh. Oh boy, I might have to tower up and restart, reset. Okay. Solid eyes running out of go juice. I have to say this is this is uh, not the strategy I expected to work with, but it seems to be. Oh, this is a bad way to run. Oh, and I don't need to be armed with this against close range enemies. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh boy, that's that's dangerous grounds. Okay. Someone can see me. Because my alert's not good. Oh, hello. Oh! Another single fight stream. But. Learning the fight. Unlike the last one, I'm not entirely sure where I stand with the uh, Resident Evil 3. I've, I've learned that I need to learn how to dodge on that one. On this one, I'm like... The solid eye seems to be critical here. And I'm thinking I'll have better luck on the ground than in towers. Want a good laugh to listen to after the stream? Ah, George Carlin. It's funny you should even mention that, uh, that guy, because... Mom handed me a handful of quotes from him. Love George Carlin. Ugh. Fine, upstanding role model for our, our world today. Nice, calm, patient man who totally, totally isn't the most bitter, <laughs> most bitter human being ever. Ugh. Love his stand-up, but holy shit. Ugh. Accurate, blind archer, accurate. Okay, what was I doing? Uh, box. Let's get in that box for a second. Huh? I didn't just destroy the box somehow. What the hell's going on? The box won't... Ah... Uh. Barrel, maybe? Ah, screw it. Switching to drum can. As much as the box is just better. Yeah, there we go. So that heater seat subscription shit actually reminded me. There's another article on GameSpot, and I don't... I'm still not entirely sure why I go there, but uh, whatever. So apparently McDonald's has a UK only promotion. I'm I'm kind of wondering why this one's UK only. For a uh, grease resistant gaming chair, they're calling the McCrispy. I saw this, and before I even cleared the headline, I had the same thought that I had by the time I'd finished reading the article, and that thought is why? Why do you need a grease resistant gaming chair? I mean, I like to have a little snack or two every now and then when I'm playing games like this. Like my green tea here, which is just sitting here languishing in, in sadness. Mm. But this tea isn't getting spilled more than likely. I don't leave a mess in my gaming space because that is a crying shame. Ah... No Northern Ireland. Ah, uh, because nobody loves them, so we can't give them nice things. What the hell, McDonald's? Ah. Uh. Thanks for the additional input, though, seriously. Yeah. Grease-resistant gaming chair. It's like, my, my... My gaming chair has a different kind of grease resistance, and that is me not being nasty as hell. And, uh... I think that's the best preventative measure to keep nasty shit off of my chair is to not have nasty shit on and immediately around my chair. Ah, something about that seems to be 
the more viable solution. Of course, if I were to spend $200 on a chair, I, I would want it to be a little more resilient, but it w wouldn't be necessary for me on account of the aforementioned lack of nasty shit. There's, there's an audience, I think, there for this chair, for people who want nice things, but also want to be gross as hell around them. Like, <laughs> you do you. I talk all this good shit. Oh, well. Watch the ass. Oh, man, I want to play me some Tony Hawk's so bad now. Oh, solid eye. Where is my quarry? Ah. I hear that sound. I hear that bottom coming. It's coming around the bend. Okay, is this gonna... Okay. Drop a level. Oh, legs. Shit. That did not work very well. Okay. Snake, use the sniper rifle. But... Yes, thanks, Otacon. I hadn't considered that, and, uh... Okay, sniper rifle's a good, good play. I just need to be able to get close enough to shoot her with anything, but not quite so close that I'm being... Okay, that, that's the opposite of what this... I'm, I'm word salading right now so bad. Sniper rifle. Ah, wrong, wrong button. Video game adaptation of Tony Hawk's Existential Nightmare. Yeah, some indie devs get on that. Okay, you know what? Oh, you don't get the luxury of a sniper rifle, you butt poop. I don't know if that hit or not. I don't think it hit. Okay, ration right now. Okay, uh... I think I'm about to die, because, uh... Okay. That could have gone worse. Okay, that could have gone better. Huh. Uh... Mistakes were made, but, uh... I think a valuable lesson was learned. <laughs> Point blank shot is not a thing you want in this game. Thank you. Please stand stand aside. Your your assistance is no longer required. G good day, folks. I didn't see which way she ran. I have no footprints to, f to follow. Oh, oh, I guess she ran that way. Alert status. Ah. Interested in RE4 remake. I'm I'm more curious about it. I'll say. Uh, would I be able to finish RE3 before the remake comes out? If I... I more than likely will. But if I do, I'll be going to classic RE4 rather than the remake. Because I'm... Probably the only other... Ooh, a stomach. Probably the only other game I'm going to be getting this year is likely going to be... Um, Front Mission First remake at the end of the month. Uh, and it'll probably be a little bit after that as well. But... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested in the RE4 remake. I'm wondering how they're going to handle the, the 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 gap in time between the two games productions what what kind of changes they'll make um and i'll have no context for them myself having never played re4 at all i've never played resident evil 4 on in any in any way okay uh ration Oh, that could have gone. Trying to get snake. Okay. So I don't know. I because I really do want to play original RE4 just because I've I've never played RE4 at all, and I'd kind of like that 
that experience. Okay, he's got combat high. Who's 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 looking at me? Ah, oh boy, I'm calling so much attention to myself in here. But I do want to play the RE4 remake, though, because I'm sure it'll be close enough in gameplay style to the more recent RE's that I'll be able to drop in a little more readily. However, I haven't yet to complete the RE3 remake um, on account of I only barely played a little... Uh, I played, like, maybe a couple hours of it in total, and a good bit of that's been repeats, so... I don't know. See, I'm led to understand they also ripped some things out of Resident Evil 3. There's like a chunk of gameplay that's not in the RE3 remake that was in the original. Like a... Oh, boy. I think some of the stuff shortly after where I currently am in classic RE3 is... Um, Oh, boy. Whoop! Sucker! Okay, I think this might be the time to pull this out and reload it. Reload it now. Mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I was hoping she'd climb out of her dog suit. Damn it. Okay. Footprints. Shit. Oh, hello. That didn't do much at all. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if that grenade launcher would come in handy. Let's switch into weapons menu. Lose this. Explosives. Hmm. Nope. Wait. Okay, this may seem a little weird, but I'm led to understand these are commonly used as an anti-tank weapon. Okay. And she is enclosed. Okay. Okay, that did nothing, but I suppose that was the expected result. Ugh. Also. Okay. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, that's Claymore's. Eh. And I had to book before I could get her trail. You know what? Just because you pissed me off. She did not just say this was her imagination. Okay, I'm just wasting Molotovs there just for a shit and a giggle. Ah, I've lost the trail. Let the trail go cold. Ah. I am the worst tracker. Oh, hello. Yeah. Note my mad tracking skills. Imagine how much longer a monster hunter run would, would go with me involved. So... <laughs> That's a game if I, I, I finally sit down and get one of those, I'll... I'm not completing that on stream. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to y'all. <laughs> you know what? Have a drink. It's the weather for nice hot drinks. Oh, shoot. Let's get rid of those petrol bombs because I'm... I'm they're, they're, they're basically useless for me. Uh, other firearms. Where's that XM... That was the grenade launcher. Okay, that was the one. It's a... 
little bit of Yeah, that's basically about the gist of the anti-tank um, usage. I figured, you know, chamber, cockpit, chamber heating, and hopefully flush her out. I wasn't expecting much in the way of damage, but, you know, a guy can dream. Okay, whoa, hello. No? There we go. Oh, that's, that's, that hurts. I don't know if she threw that or Wolfie threw that. Okay, where is the solid eye? Here we go. No, you heard nothing. Go away. Okay. Now, let's drop to the ground for a moment and octo camo. Okay, apparently I've been on the ground long enough to octo camo anyway. Okay, there's someone on the tower. She's got line of sight, but not range. Oh boy, hunting! Horizon Zero Dawn MMO. You saw nothing! Ignore me! Horizon Zero to Oh, hello. Oh, she's just right there, and thank you. Whoop! Out of the way! Oh, that was the opposite of what I was wanting, but thank you. Okay. But I'm not dead, so that's nice. How you doing? Ah! Solid eye would have been, I think, put in some work. Okay. Whoop! Bad doggy. Okay, solid eye. Okay. I was going somewhere with that. It was another news article, but... Oh. Got caught up in the fight here and, uh... Lost track of what I was doing. If I can't hit her at this range, with this zoomed in, something is wrong. Okay. Down! Okay, well, I mean, it's more than zero. I'll take it. Oh, 5.15. Holy crap, I didn't realize what time it is. But hey, progress. Now, let's switch back to this. Oh, boy, you know what? Yeah, that's, that's better. Sonic Frontiers might not be a trash fire. I mean, I can only hope. When was the last one that we got that wasn't? I mean... We had Mania and we had Generations. It's been the two nostalgia callbacks. I, I can only hope at this point that the game, that the gang over at Sega are learning what they're doing. Oh, hello. Oh, that's going to take me right across. Oh, no. No, oh, hello. Oh, no. No, no. Too close to enemies. Last time you played a Sonic game was 20 years ago. Sonic, 20 years ago. I'm going to guess Dreamcast Sonic Adventure games. Oh no, she summoned ads. That turd bag. When did you just become an MMO boss? I can't see shit now. Okay, there we go, that's right. What the hell? Ah. PC port, okay. Hmm, I didn't even know there was a PC port of that, but hey, cool. Oh! That could have gone worse, but hey. Holy crap, almost. I still got a few rations. This could this could go. This could work. 
Okay, I think I have to tower up and reset this. Yeah. I got Sonic Mania off of uh, Epic Store, so that was a thing that happened. Okay, let's let's do this. Oh man, thankfully these ladders are heated. Not something I would have thought of, but oh, get on the snake, please. Snake. Not something I would have thought of, but actually very very good for these climates. Heated ladders, no no icing. Yeah, last Sonic game I played was Sonic Mania. I haven't finished it yet. I got up to like the last couple of stages and just kind of forgot it existed. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please don't. This is a bad place to stop. Thank you. Thank you for shooting me in the face, whoever it was that did that. Oh, no. Uh. Okay, I'm sorry. Were you... Oh boy, ladder heater subscription. Oh boy. And the best part is no grease, not a drop of grease on the lot. Ugh. Yeah, it's like last one I got those Sonic games was Sonic Mania, and it really scratched the classic Sonic itch. To the point where I got most of the way through the game and had my fill. Sonic Generations though, it, it got both the classic itch, oh that's not good. Oh, I thought I rolled for a second. It wasn't quite how I'd intended to roll, but I'll take it. Okay, I think I should barrel real quick. Just... Barrel. But Sonic Generations, I got even more of that out of it. I mean, I never really played much of the uh, 3D era beyond Sonic Heroes. That was, that was my introduction to the 3D Sonic games. I didn't get Adventure until a Humble Bundle. But... Uh, yeah, Generations felt really good right out the gate, but they did that thing that a lot of Sonic games do, and the early stages felt better than the later ones by leaps and bounds. It, it worked. I kind of want to do that barrel roll just to see what would happen if I rolled off one of these ledges, but I'm doing so good, and I don't want to jeopardize that by shenanigans. And uh, I'll stay in the barrel, see how much more health recovery I can get for a second. But yeah, those Sonic games, they did well. One was uh, by the team over at Sega, and the other one was that Christian Whitehead spe uh, spearheaded um, Sonic Mania. And it was, it was good, but I don't know. Sonic Frontiers, I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. The trailer, though, the story trailer, it's like... Stated earlier in this stream, I did say, yeah, more gameplay in, in, in my trailers, please. They probably should have stuck with just gameplay, because that, that story trailer is like, what am I even looking at? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about it all wrong. I mean, after all, Sonic games, everyone goes to Sonic games when they want this deep, riveting story with an incredible lore and well-built world, and I can't even finish that thought. Holy shit. <laughs> Why can't it just be Blue Hedgehog, go fast, eat chili dogs, and fight fat guy with robots? It's like, keep it simple, Sega. Oh, man. Can't wait for Sonic Frontiers. It's, it's, it's gonna be interesting, no matter how it shakes out. Okay, Sonic Eye, the Solid Eye. Ah, oh, damn it, Sega, you ruined me on my own tools. Where's she at? Okay. I am so surrounded. Not so much on this side. Hey, let's 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 drop. Like the base. Jim Carrey as Eggman. My take: never. Sorry, I don't care how good he acts the role. I cannot see him as Eggman. Just not even a little. It's just Jim Carrey mugging, as Jim Carrey always does. It's not even necessarily that, oh, it, it's so bad, it would be so terrible, or anything like that. I don't have anything It's that. It's just... I just... I've seen too much Jim Carrey in too many things, and I'm not... 
seeing anything special brought to this role. So, I'm out. Oh boy, hello. Oh shit! You were just right there, weren't you? Okay, where's that grenade launcher? Hello. Yeah, that was an explo- oh boy. I'm, um... Grenades now! Uh, um, no, no, not that. Okay, I'm doing panic pressing now. I cannot take Jim Carrey as Eggman on screen. I don't know, maybe if he, maybe if he did voice work. But then again, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I can't complain. Oh no! And she runs. She has no heat on her footsteps anymore. Damn it. Okay. Hey, come on, quickly. Range! Oh, freaking. Tim Carey outlived his appeal and needs to retire. Not in his acting, in his character stuff. He could do that. He's just kind of an asshole now. Outside of films, he's just so much of an asshole. Oh. So I can't really say anything about him needing to retire. He can he can still act, but he's just he's said some shit and uh like doing kick ass too and then after cashing the check coming out and talking about being anti-gun and how how violence in movies is it's like okay Jim but you cash the check why were you in the movie I'm not even saying anything against being anti-gun I'm fully support people being anti-gun I disagree with it personally but it's it's a matter for debate and I don't tend to get political everyone has their stance on that one and guns I hope to never fire one in my life but in his case I'm like, just, just don't be a hypocrite, Jim. The cries of babies. Play a character who's super into gun violence, and then just, eh. that's about the closest to politics I'm gonna get on stream. Is saying Jim Carrey, don't be a hypocrite. These are tears of joy, lady. I was not expecting to win this fight at the rate I was going. Oh, what the hell? Go away. Don't come any closer. My only real problem with Jim Carrey and his acting career is that he seems to be kind of a... He's kind of a one-trick pony. I mean, what has he done for drama? Like the Truman Show, the Majestic, uh, Number Twenty One. I don't know. I really do need to finish watching those, but it just, just no appeal to me. And in the stuff that isn't those, he just doesn't have a lot of range, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but. Some people it works, some people it doesn't. You can cry if you want. Cry if you need to. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Incredible Burt Wonderstone. Oh man, I forgot about that one entirely. I've cried myself dry. I should hope so. It's pretty cold out here, lady. Tears kind of dangerous. As much as you like. I will be there. Okay, there's a there's a weapon for this very very thing and uh it's it's weapon time. All right. Uh let's let's drop the XM25. That would be a little rough. 
a little bit rough. Where are you at? Ah, here we go. And let's see, Saiga 12. Ah, here we go. Uh, whoop, hello. Oh, man. Lady, do you know how much these cost? Oh, man. The beauty portion had to just be a mercy from Kojima to allow people to get, like, no-kill boss runs on these bosses. That's the only reason I can think of for these, these this portion of the game to even be here. Where was I going over the horizon thing? I just totally went way off track of that like a half hour ago. So apparently there's a horizon MMORPG that might be in development. I'm like, neat. I haven't played Zero Dawn yet. I can't remember. Uh, did I get that from one of the free game promotions? I think I got that one from a free game promotion for PS4. And, uh, have yet to give it a shot. Yo, Snake. I finished laundering that real gun you picked up just now. It's like an Let's interesting universe. On the house. Thanks. Time for another bedtime story, Snake. Oh boy, creepy Uncle Drebbins. Bedtime tales. Tell you there's whole nations in Africa tearing themselves apart in the name of ethnic cleansing. Well, she was born into that environment. When she was a little girl, her village was attacked by rival armed factions. Her parents and siblings were slaughtered, and she was left a refugee. She took her last surviving relative, her baby brother, and ran as far as she could away from the war zone. Then she ate him like a sandwich. She came across an enemy unit, so she took her brother and hid in an abandoned shack. And then her brother started to cry. She knew that if the soldiers heard the noise, they would find them and kill them both. So she wrapped her hand as tight as she could around his mouth. And, and yeeted him into the bushes. Away, no. She came back to her senses. Her brother wasn't crying anymore. Horrified, she pulled her hand away, covered in sweat and spit. He wasn't breathing. They say wolves eat their own pups when they die. She was spotted wandering through the thick of battle, carrying her dead brother in her arms. She had visions, too. A wolf walking alongside her. Every night, the wolf would howl and cry, just like her brother did that day. Eventually, she made it to a government-run refugee camp. But by then, her brother's body had rotted away. The camp was crowded with refugees like herself and little children like her brother. Day and night, she was tormented by the cries of babies. The wolf that followed her heard her sorrowful screams and answered. He made his way around the camp, and one by one, he silenced the children. She tried to stop it, but she was powerless to stop the wolf. A few days passed, and on the eve of the enemy's raid, there wasn't a child left. Did she name this wolf Tyler Durden? Just throwing that out there. Pretty bad. Of course, there was never any wolf in that camp. No. She was the one who killed those babies. But she couldn't bring herself to admit it. She couldn't bear the thought of herself going from one baby to the next, howling like a wolf, snuffing out their little lives. And she never did. And I'm hunting like hungry. A the wolf. Damn it. Stalking the battlefield. You ever wonder how much of this Drebin can really corroborate? You made Wolf finally accept what she'd done. She was cleansed by you. If the cries she heard... So she was, she's finally able to accept being a child-murdering psychopath because of going crazy from killing a rel... What? 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 
one. She accidentally kills her brother and then becomes a child murdering psychopath. And, you know, me shooting her in the face with a couple of shotgun shells. She's like, you know what? I think I'm past it. What? 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 I won't. See you around, Snake. What? Okay, you know what? No, I'm not even reading this text because what? Okay, um, I'm I'm drawing a blank on the previous um, beauty stories. I really am, but holy shit, they're all horrible. This guy just he, he's having too much fun with his story time at these these characters' expense. But holy shit, true. I mean, hidden temples. Effective for a lot of things. I'm just saying it. It seems. It, it's it Welcome seems Drebin's having a lot of fun with this, and I can't help but wonder. Oh, speaking of wolves, can't help but wonder how much he's uh, upselling her story. You know what? Go, wolf. You know, I just got a new rail gun that's kind of on the heavy side. If you could bring some of your chums over here to... to no? Okay, let's carry it. He's got a railgun holster for a butt crack there. Okay. Oh my god, what even with this fight? Ugh. I'm trying to think of a way I could have cheesed that any harder. Made it any hammier. I mean... So you have a fight that encourages you to use a sniper rifle, and I basically end it with a grenade launcher. I can't really complain with the results. So, I'll take them. Uh, I think Snake would agree that in the, in the heat of battle, whatever works, roll with it. Rex is waiting. Compete whose railgun's bigger. Ooh. Ah, uh, boy. What was it Nigel Powers said? It's not a size it counts, it's how you use it. Oh boy. So I'm gonna go on ahead and go. I just saved, I think. Yeah, I just saved. It's cool. I will be back Sunday. Hopefully, at least this level of Victorious. With Nemesis hammering me in the face in Resident Evil 3. Yeah, Resident Evil 3. Blah, took me a minute. And, um, back next week with, what am I playing? Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh my god, my brain. What the hell am I doing? Okay, but yeah, I see that raid thing, and I saw a game mentioned earlier, and, um, let's see. So, I can't think of much better to raid than, let's see, is there anyone playing Armored Core for answer right now cuz for answer was pretty fun i had i had a bit of a rough go of it with 4 i wasn't exactly great with it but it was a, it was a solid game for answer seemed to have uh, cranked that up a notch let's see i'm not expecting anyone to be streaming this right now i'm really not okay nope nobody live ha <laughs> ah uh, that's that's good so let's see Let's go a little bit um, further back with some Tony Hawk. Let's see, D3, Lord, what? I can't even say that, but okay. Uh, but, let's see. Looks like Tony Hawk, and we've got... 
Hmm? <sighs> Raid Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I mean, on the one hand, maybe, but nah. Not when someone has a username out there like Acehole666. Thank you, whoever had that name, because it's Tony Hawk time. Uh, I do need to give Horizon Zero Dawn a look at some point in the near future. So thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. I'm going to go raid a washing machine for laundry purposes. Back Sunday with Resident Evil, back Wednesday with this. And uh, take it easy, party people, right now! See you around. Hmm?